we get a complete sense out of it, you know. But if I say to you, Fatahamidun, what is the meaning? Open what? Are you with me? You did not get a complete sentence. Did he open the door of the car? Did he open the door of the classroom? Did he open a window? Did he open his book? You don't know. Are you with me? So did you get a complete sense? No. You did not get a complete sense. You needed something else in the sentence to be mentioned in order to get a complete picture. Huh? So what do you need something else to complete the picture? Is you need an object. Huh? What is it brother? You need an object. Huh? Okay. And what is the Arabic of object? Mafa'ulun bihi. That's all. This you must memorize. Mafa'ulun bihi. Mafa'ulun bihi. Okay. Bihi is jar majroon. Remember. Okay. Not bihu, but bihi. Because there is a kasara there. Okay. Fine brother and sister. Now, how do we know whether the verb is transitive or intransitive? Yeah, if there is, it needs object or not, you ask question. Either ask what, or you ask whom. When you ask a verb this question, and if you get an answer, yes, okay, then it means there is an object needed. Uh, if you cannot get any answer. If you cannot get any answer by using what and whom, then it means the verb is intransitive. It does not need an object. If I say, Ham it sat, ask a question. What? <laughs> it doesn't fit. Whom? Doesn't fit. So it means it does not need it. Ham it sat? Fine, very good. So jalasa hamid. Now I say to you, Shariba Hamidun. Hamid drank. Drank what? So now the, everything fits. The question fits. Huh? Drank what? Huh? So then you need an object. Shariba Hamidun. Al Ma'a. Ashaya. Al Kahwa. Asir al Burtukal. Orange juice. You know? Are you with me? Khalakallahu. Khalakallahu. Allah created. Created what? Then you need an object. Are you with me? Khalakallahu al insana. Then you need an object. And that object will always be mansub. What it will be now? See, now we are coming in the Mansu forms. Uh, it will come from everywhere now. Uh, so, object will always be Mansu. Shariba Hamidun al ma Asha Ya al Kahwa Ta. Are you with me? Asira. Okay? You will always have this. Okay, now the same thing will be if I say Amina, then I will say Sharibat Aminatu Al Ma'a. Sahi? Sharibat Aminatu Al Ma'a. So do you see Mafulun Bihi coming? And Mafulun Bihi will always be Mansu. Always be Mansu. Mansu. Okay? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, so these are the things. Daraba Hamidun. What did I say? 
Daraba Hamidun. What is the meaning of this? Hit. No, here whom will come? Hit whom? He must have hit somebody. Daraba Hamidun Al Walada. Hamid hit the boy. Or say Hamid hit Muhammad. So what will you say? Daraba Hamidun Muhammad Dan. Muhammad Dan. Why Dan? Because Mafulun Bihi is always Mansu. Got the idea? Mafulun Bihi is always Mansu. Fahima Muhammadun. Fahima Muhammadun. What is the meaning of Fahima Muhammadun? Understood. Understood what? Uh, then you say Adarsa. Kataba. Now let us use Muannas. Katabat Aminatu. Katabat Aminatu. What is the translation? Wrote what? Letter. Arisala Ta. Arisala Ta. Why Ta? Why Mansub? Because Mafulun Bihi, Sister Sumaya, Mafulun Bihi will be Mansu. Now you can look in the Quran and you will see, inshallah. So if there is a transitive verb, there will be Mafulun Bihi. If there is an intransitive verb, uh, then the fiel and file are very happy with themselves. They don't need anything else. Uh, but when it is transitive verb, then the fiel and file cannot give you a complete sense unless you bring an object. Are you with me, brother? That is all we have to do now. Now, look at this, brother. Huh? When the pronoun joins a noun, what do you get? Mudahaf, mudahaf, really. Are you with me? Okay. And when the pronoun joins harf jar, what do you get? Jar majrur. Eh? And when the pronoun joins zarf, what do you get? Zarf and mudahaf, really. eh? Remember that? Okay. When the pronoun Join Sana You get Mudaf Mudafilehi When the pronoun joins preposition we get Jarun wa Majrurun When the pronoun joins a zarf we get zarf now this is what we learned in book one. Now we go one step more. And there is no song for it. Until you think of one. What is it brother? When the pronoun joins a verb. When the pronoun joins a verb. What do you get? Mafulun bihi. Are you with me? No. Now with the verb, that pronoun becomes mansub. Because mafulun bihi is mansub. When the pronoun joined the noun, it became mudaf mudafili. So it means pronoun was mudafilihi majroor. Sahi? When the pronoun joins preposition, you get jarun wa majroor. So pronoun became majroor. And when the pronoun joins zarf, you get zarf and mudafilehi. So mudafilehi is majroor.